From the template, we have two different slides. Each slide shows two different types of cards. On slide one, that type of card is the one that you can see in the animation here. It's the card that flips up to reveal the inside of the card. And on slide two, this card flips open to the left to reveal the inside of the card. The first card is a little bit easier to work with because you really only have to flip one thing and the rest can be done in the you know position that you see on the screen. So for starters, I have the steps down in the notes here. First, you um, take the animation and you can just remove that. That's not going to be part of your card, so press the delete key. Then you're going to put your text boxes, images, all of those kinds of things, um, word art into these spaces, depending on how you want it to lay out. And you just kind of tinker with it and get it to the way you want it to look with the typeface and those sizes and things like that. This is the front of the card. This is the inside of the card. This is the inside of the card that is kind of on the top part. It's not always used, so that's why I have that blank, but you could use it. And then this is the back of the card. The only piece that you have to rotate, you have to rotate 180 degrees, is the stuff that is in the top left box. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and highlight everything in that section. And then I'm going to go to arrange, rotate, and I have to rotate it clockwise twice. Arrange, rotate, clockwise. And now it's upside down. You can you know, use the arrow keys if you want to just nudge things just a little bit, um, get things the way you want it. You may print this off and the, depending on how your printer margins work, you may be like, oh, I wanna nudge it just a little bit this way and that way. Um, it is a homemade card, so don't get too stressed out about you know the little differences here and there. So that is the only thing you have to do. That's the rest are, are filled out. You don't have to rotate anything else. This little um, guide here is offside, off of the screen, so it won't print. The, the last step before you print is just go to the layout. And right now we're in the layout that has guidelines and you just switch to blank. And that way those dotted lines won't print. And then from this perspective, we just go to file print or hit the print button. And you're going to go and switch pages to custom. And for our case, we're only going to print page one. So then you go ahead and print and fold and you have your card. Let's take a look at the second one. That one's a little different. In this case, you can see it flips open to the left. And so this card, everything has to be rotated. The way I think of it is everything has to be rotated towards the center so that every all the ups are pointing towards the center. Um, I'm going to delete this section here, the animation, because I don't need it as a guide anymore. And then I'll go and start on the right side, and I can highlight both of these. Oh, I take that back. We only want to highlight this one first, and we'll arrange this so that we rotate it counterclockwise so that it's facing, you know, up is pu pushing towards the center. I repeat the same thing for the bottom, arrange, rotate, counterclockwise. And here, like I said, you may want to adjust where that is positioned. And then this one is the opposite of that. This is the, the left side. You arrange, rotate, clockwise so that up is pointing to the center. It, you could have text here. If you wanted to do that, you would do the same thing. It would be in the same orientation as this bottom box. Once you are finished, you go ahead and repeat the same process that I demonstrated for the first slide. You are going to go to layout, switch to blank, and then in this case, you're gonna go print. And of course, you're gonna do custom, and then just do page two.